Hi guys, welcome back. I am so excited for this video because this has been a long month. This is the real deal. The main reason I, I the main reason I took on this challenge was because I was super dependent on coffee. I needed more of it once I had one cup. I was refilling my cup at least two to three times a day. And it just kept me in a fog. Like I wasn't thinking right. My body was super dehydrated. My skin was super rashy and super dry. And I could just feel it becoming a problem. I saw there was a link between skin and coffee. Like obviously your skin is your biggest organ. And I was just filtering coffee through my veins like it was not good well, I'm just gonna show you guys what my month has looked like and then I'm gonna get into everything I love about not drinking coffee you can tell my face is super red it's a little backstory I've had dry skin my entire life sensitive skin rosy cheeks rosy upper arms and chicken skin and it's just been really annoying to deal with especially over this past six months I would say in high school I was really self-conscious about my arms because they're like bumpy and red and it's gotten better over the years. I feel like high school was probably the worst of it and then it settled down a little bit afterwards. Right now it's just at one of the worst peaks it's ever been at. It is day 12 and I feel good. I can't believe I'm like halfway there already and I don't really miss it. Like I'll have the urge once in a while to make some but it's not something that I need every morning like I used to and I've been using a substitute not every day but in the beginning it's something that I really depended on it's called chicory root so I'll show you guys what it is and it's the same thing as um, how coffee's made it just goes right into a pot and the water just boils it down into I guess it's like a tea and it's sweeter than coffee but it still has like a coffee taste it's brown it's coffee vibes so it's really helpful for when i want coffee and then i'll just pour a little bit of almond milk in there and it's good to go it's day 20 and i'm actually blown away by the results so far it's definitely toned down a lot like i can totally tell more an even skin tone and i've actually gotten a few compliments within the last week or so just saying that my skin looks good so i'm convinced that other people can notice it too because normally my face is very inflamed especially in the winter so coming out of the winter months it's still bad my skin looks totally different than what i remember it as like I'm shook by how this is actually working and my arms are a lot less bumpy too so it's working on both areas of my body and I'm excited to see how much further this can go and I'm pretty much sure that I'm not going to go back to drinking caffeine um, every day after this like maybe once in a while because I do miss it. It's kind of awkward <laughs> to have to show my arm. Day 25. I'm excited to have coffee again, but I'm really happy with my face today. So a lot of this is actually summer and it doesn't feel dry or anything. You're a piggy. Um, it has dramatically faded in my opinion. Like you can tell that it, this is burn. Um, and like the redness that I normally have at the bottom is not as bright. <laughs> today not even realizing it was day 30 like I was not waiting to the end so I can drink a cup of coffee it was rough the first week I would say I was having caffeine headaches and it wasn't too bad like it would hit me midday and then it would subside I was substituting coffee for the chicory root that you guys saw and at first I was doing it every day but it gives you um loose bowels like a little bit too much. I was also drinking like herbal teas and just things that didn't have caffeine in them but it still gave me that sense of coziness when I would wake up in the morning. I don't know if I could do it without something else just because that's like my thing in the morning and I know a lot of people feel that way about when they wake up and get their day started. That was probably the biggest help in all of this and then just the way that I felt really kept me going and it got me excited to see how much it would progress by the end of the month. I feel so much more energized. Even if I don't get a lot of sleep at night, 
I wake up the next day feeling way better than I did when I was drinking coffee. I'm someone that has really just dry inflamed skin all year round, especially in the winter. So it hit a point in the winter where it was just horrible. Coffee is kind of addictive. Another thing that, as you can see, has really been better um, has been my skin. And I also changed my skin routine, so I can't completely thank the no caffeine for doing that to my skin. But my arms don't get a skin routine, and they've become a lot more soft. They're a little bit less red. I don't know if you could see. Another thing I've noticed is that my teeth have become a lot less sensitive and my teeth are pretty much always sensitive I have a sensitive toothpaste that I use I feel less sensitivity I feel less like a film on my teeth so between my energy level my skin my brain how I work it just in general and not having to depend on it I will not be going back to drinking coffee every day if you guys are thinking about making the switch I highly recommend no more coffee this is if you have a problem with it if you don't think you have a problem do your thing but if you think you are someone that can't stop because you love it so much you totally can I'll leave the link down below to the chicory root that I've ordered thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Oh,